Vice President Kamala Harris made her first trip to the U.S.-Mexico border as the Democratic presidential nominee late last month. She walked along a section of a wall built in Douglas, Arizona, during Barack Obama's presidency. Later, at a campaign rally in Douglas, Harris said the country must police its border, but she also called for a better way to welcome immigrants legally. And so we must reform our immigration system to ensure that it works in an orderly way, that it is humane, and that it makes our country stronger. Some Arizonans say immigration is the reason they're voting for former President Donald Trump, who has promised to be tougher on illegal immigration. I have no problem with legal immigration, not at all. But Jane DeGrazia says those who cross illegally don't belong in the U.S. And it's very unfair to our country. It's dangerous. There are over 4.1 million registered voters in Arizona. About 35 percent are registered as Republicans, while just over 29 percent are registered as Democrats. Around 34 percent of voters fall into the other category, which includes independents and those not aligned with the major parties. So the, the independent share of the voter pool in Arizona is really growing. Kimball is the chairman of the Citizens Clean Elections Commission in Tucson, Arizona, and he's registered as an independent voter. He says immigration is not everyone's top issue. Republicans are far more likely to say the major issue is immigration. Democrats are far more likely to say the major issue is abortion. Uh, independents are more likely to say abortion, but not by an overwhelming amount. Arizona is the only battleground state that borders Mexico, and one that dealt with a record number of migrant arrivals in 2023. On the day Harris visited the border, Trump, campaigning in Michigan, again promised to close the border. We will begin the largest deportation operation in American history, and we have no choice but to go. But this young voter says he would like to see an immigration system that didn't keep families apart for so long. It's heartbreaking to see, you know, families be split up. Daniel Gutierrez says his father is a Trump supporter while his mother says she will vote for Harris. So I hear it from both sides. And for the upcoming presidential election, Gutierrez decided to vote for... I'm in, decided with the Democratic Party. While some Arizonas know who they will vote for in November, others are more focused on simply getting more people to the polls. Joseph Garcia is executive director of the Get Out the Vote group, Cice Vota. Whatever the issues may be, you know, we want them to be informed voters. And these voters could help decide who wins the White House on November 5th. Aline Barros, VOA News, Arizona.